hi everyone so I thought today I would just run through I've, I had a bit of a lapse so I landed up making a few cards but not doing some videos on them but I still wanted to share them with you because I think and sort of walk you through the bits that I did just so that you have some more ideas um, there's not long for Halloween um, what there's about a month ish just over so I've got um, let's see I've got three cards just remember that's a video so I'll put that one to one side I've got three cards here that I want to show you um, what I did and how I made them um, and just run through what I've done um, there is another one but I have actually I believe that I made a video on that one so I'll get that up as soon as I can um, so this one um, if it's not up already this one I actually one night was experimenting with an idea that I saw online um, to depending on which side you use on your embossing folder to put some ink on there and then run it through your machine and dump a load of um, embossing powder over it so that you get and when you heat set it sorry it will it will just be wherever the ink was so I experimented with a piece of just Whisper White um, Stampin' Up cardstock not thinking I would use water on it I was just experimenting and um, note to self because I love watercolours and I love experimenting with paint and water <laughs> I should have really just used a piece of watercolour cardstock it would have worked better um, and been a bit more stable so that's just a and you know a tip but where the I'm hoping you'll be able to pick this up where the embossing powder stuck and I then embossed it's resisted the ink that I then used over the top um, and I actually funny enough used some distress markers and used them over the this back panel and so then I was sitting there the next day and I thought well what am I going to do with that now because I don't like to waste things like that it's it, yes it was an experiment kind of like a faux letterpress type thing but I didn't want to waste it I kind of thought well let's see if I can make it Halloweeny which is when I started using the distress and it kind of went from there I then used um, a dye I think this is a lawn fawn dye um, it's like a border dye it's actually the ocean wave I think that's what it's called and so I used it essentially upside down so it looks like clouds <laughs> um, and I ran this the, this is basic black cardstock so same cardstock as this um, and I ran them both these two pieces here and I, I ran them through with the dies sitting at a jaunty angle um, and just cut two pieces of card um, out of the one so basically the center part if you like would would be used on something else um, I then decided to emboss them so that it looked like um, like a wall um, and I had this idea I have this other little Sizzix die it's a labels die it's actually the dies that came free um, I think they're the framelits that came free with the um, with my big shot and they just these little guys just fit perfectly in them um, and so I Oh, actually I'd stamped these separately they were another experiment which I'll tell you about in a minute but they landed up fitting perfectly within one of these frames and I thought this shape kind of looked like a gravestone a bit morbid but it's Halloween yeah um so going back to the wall before I'd, I decided on these guys looking like or once I decided on these guys looking a bit like they were going to be on gravestones I then decided that this had to be a wall so I embossed them with the brick wall embossing folder from Stampin' Up. I then used, I um, can't think which, uh, Spooky Fun I think it is, um, stamp set to heat emboss some white embossing powder onto here and I actually lined up the piece of card, I'd done the heat embossing first and then I lined up the piece of card in the embossing folder so that it, the, the sentiment landed up on one of the bricks. If I'd done it the other way around, I may have squashed the embossing bit, um, which I obviously didn't want to do. These guys were an experiment. 
um, I again just stamped them randomly on a piece of paper a piece of cardstock sorry and I used some low odor white spirit um, it was the cheapest thing I could find and the closest thing I could find to a Gamsol type product I don't know all the ins and outs of it um, but it worked like a charm um, and the idea is that you that the idea that I'd seen is that you use Prismacolor pencils which are a wax crayon pencil pencil crayon um, which is what we used to call them in the old days and you use your Gamsol to blend the colors so you'd color him in however you wanted to and then use the Gamsol on a blender stick blender whatever they're called these things what are these things called can't think blending stump um, and you would dip this into your Gamsol or in my case low odor white spirit and you would then you use that to color it in and what happens is it blends and it, it reacts with the wax in the um, in the in the pencil crayon um, and does just that it blends it it won't work with watercolor pencils they're not wax based um, I think that's the idea behind it and what it it does something or dissolves or, or it does something to the wax or the crayon in the the wax must be wax um, in the uh, pencil crowns so what I did was I bought box standard pencil crayons they cost me three pounds um, although they are actually a good make so <laughs> um, they were I think they're De La Roni or something I got them at Hobbycraft and then um, the low odor white spirit I literally bought from Wilco's and I couldn't find a smaller bottle so I have like 750 mils and stuff so yeah <laughs> But it worked perfectly and you don't have to have Prisma colours. Prisma colours are beautiful but you don't need to have them and I, I, I've kind of proved that by doing this little experiment because I didn't want to go to the, because they are a more expensive art, well they're an artist grade pencil and I didn't want to go to the expense of that if I wasn't going to like this technique or if I wasn't, if it wasn't going to work for me. Um, but it worked beautifully so if you have Prisma colour pencils get yourself some low odour low odor because of the odor that's just you know open a window as well um, when you're using it um, white spirit mineral spirits um, depends what part of the world you're in as to what it's called which is why it took me so long to find it because I didn't know what it was called here um, and that was it really so a couple of experiments going on in this card that's basically what this card was it was an experiment I experimented with how I got the sentiment I experimented with my my version of Gamsol um, and uh, pencil crayons I experimented with the background and I still came up with this rather odd looking Halloween card so um, that's card number one um, I will show you the other ones I'll hopefully we'll do this a little quicker but you know it's techniques involved if anybody wants to see any of the techniques that I talk about in the video then just leave me a comment and I can always do them as separate videos um, and I will probably do that naturally anyway when I come up with new ideas she says <laughs> so that's card number one card number two was this one now it is a little warped um, this is just super cheap craft cardstock and I'd never used craft cardstock to colour on or to um, yeah to colour on so I and I and I love how it looks so I decided that that was something I wanted to try so this is what this was another experiment but I also as you know from some of my other videos I love creating sceneries so this was a really really cool thing to kind of create with the sort of use of of pencil crayons and and um was the other ones I used I used some of my intense pencils Funny enough, the Inktense pencils worked not as well, um, although I did the Moon in Inktense, but they didn't seem to blend as well on the craft without the water as much as the, the uh, and didn't show up as much 
and as line free as much as the regular pencil crowns. So I thought that was kind of weird um, that that was sort of how that went. Um, so the background, they're still, they're very liney if that makes sense. There's lots of lines in it and I don't, it kind of works for the scene but I don't really like that. I hate lines <laughs> which is why I for a long time sort of steered clear of anything in pencil form but I want to get around that. So and then the moon, I did use a little bit of water on here and again it, it, it it's better on the moon but the background just did not, there's just too many lines for me and it bothers me. <laughs> and then what I did was I used a um, the couple of the regular pencil crowns that I've got and I used the white because I didn't have one in my um, a white pencil crown in my um, Inktense pencils. So I used uh, again a, a box standard um, white pencil crown and then once that was dry because I did use some water in that trying to move this colour and uh, what I'd done as well I'd stamped my scene first in um, I think I used my Versafine black onyx ink um, which is waterproof when it's dry so just let it dry first and then you can do what you like with it basically um, water wise but then after that I thought oh, something's not quite right so I basically just sprayed it with um, I can't remember off the top of my head because like I say this was just on a whim kind of making a few cards I can't remember if it was my um, Perfect Pearls like I've mixed my own Perfect Pearls just with a bit of water and Perfect Pearls in there or whether it was the uh, Cosmic Shimmer one that I've mixed as well I can't remember which one it was but it was one of the gold it's just a gold shimmer and I literally just sprayed it over the top and let it dry so I'm hoping this will pick up on the uh, on the camera can't quite see where I'm sitting so um, but in real life it's super sparkly and not sparkly but like really shimmery and um, it just it works really well um, to sort of cover up a bit of that sort of like areas you're not quite happy with it kind of like hides it a little bit because you're distracted I think by the the actual shimmery bit <laughs> so um, when that was dry although it did warp and again this is not watercolor cardstock so it warped worse than watercolor would have but I wanted to try on yeah again not thinking I would use water the idea was to color um, but I just put it onto some foam tape and whenever you've got anything even if it's watercolor paper or cardstock and you put adhesive on the back to stick it to your card or foam tape or foam squares just put a lot of them on there and put a lot of adhesive on the back because it will get a bit like it will twist because it warps with the water so that's just a little tip there but there's another one and I love the way the ghosts turn out the moon looks really cool I'm quite happy with that but she kind of got a little lost in there in the tree but I do love the way the the white worked on there and my little spider hanging from the moon I mean seriously <laughs> anyway and this was the the next one now this is just basic black cardstock this is craft cardstock again I think I used some Versafine yeah Versafine I was trying to make sure I had the right name of it Versafine ink um, in black onyx and this the spiders I just stamped well I stamped the the jars first um, they're from the Jar of Haunts Stampin' Up set it's in our new catalogue so um, you'll, you can find all the details um, and links to my shop there uh, below the video um, or on my blog but the I stamped the Jar of Haunts uh, the jars um, not evenly spaced because I wasn't again this was just an experiment I wasn't planning on actually making a card out of these 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 this is how this is what happens I sometimes just grab some cardstock and get an idea in my head and go right, I'm gonna just play and that's how you land up creating something that you can make into something else which is exactly what I did um, this one I think is one of my favorite well, I like the other one too but I think this is my favorite um, so I stamped the, the jars, then I decided I wanted the faces and I hadn't used the candy corn or this base yet so I stamped them in there. I then used the little spider and just on the jars 
as if they were either coming down and dropping down onto the again creating a little scene or scenery um, chucking them onto the what would be the surface of the table where they're sitting um, and to make it look like they were actually on something and not floating um, the, the jars that is well, and the spider um, I just created a bit of a wash underneath again I used my distress ink markers I haven't really played with them that much um, as markers I've used them for water coloring but not as a just on, as a full-blown marker so I used that at the bottom here um, I think this is oh, I can't remember the colors but it's one of the sort of gray toned colors um, and I used obviously an orange and a yellow and then a white um, it's a jelly roll Sakura pen that I used for the white bits and then I thought the spiders needed something else so I put white eyes on them <laughs> as you do and then I used a clear wing Stella pen um, to put the some sparkle or some shimmer onto the faces and the spiders and I just sort of scribbled it on the bulk of the spider I didn't try and do the legs because that's too much like hard work and then for the sign for the for the sign for the <laughs> for the sentiment I put which was supposed to look like a sign and the spiders are kind of coming down oh um, to do the sign uh, the spiders the lines the what do you call it the web um, I used a, oh, this, a graphic line marker in 0.01 and that's um, is it Derwent? I never know how to say that name Derwent um, that you can get like a little pack of three and they cut they they're all different sizes so this is a 0.01 and I just drew lines from the edge of the card down to some of the spiders obviously these guys that are here they've already dropped off they're not hanging on it are they so you wouldn't need it on there um, but for the sign I bet I made the sign wide enough to fit in the gap I had between these two spiders so um, I, may, I found a sentiment from this is actually from Mr. Funny Bones Stampin' Up set and I actually found a sentiment that would fit on a piece of cardstock that would fit between those two spiders um, if that makes any sense um, I used the ghoulish grunge there's a, a background pattern in there as the background um, I think that's just in some um, distress I think it's vintage photo um, distress ink I used some teeny tiny little copper brads um, these are mini brads just in the corner so it looked like those um, that old style rivets or whatever they're called um, pop that up on some foam tape but the edge as well I edged in a it is a pigment ink but it's just one of the cat's eye um, pigment inks um, I, th oh, I can't think of it. I think it's the color chestnut um, and it even though it was a, a um, pigment ink it did seem to dry quite quickly so and I thought it looked really nice on the um, craft card stuck so that is card number three neat huh <laughs> so there's three cards and I think my battery's gonna die not my battery <laughs> told <the> you <laughs> I knew it was gonna do that <laughs> for some reason I can only record for about 18 minutes on my camera go figure anyway all I wanted to say <laughs> obviously talk too much so there's the three cards for you there's some ideas there hopefully you found them inspirational hopefully you'll try that as well and um, I'll see you in the next one um, if I haven't already there'll be the previous video would have been for the card that I nearly showed you that I suddenly remembered I had a video for or it will be after this one and then there should be some more to follow um, I've got a couple of really quick ones that I want to show you where I've done all the planning and everything I just want to put the card together for you um, just so that you can it's more about looking at how I did the main part of the card so anyway waffling now so here's some ideas for you hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video bye guys <laughs>